You're listening to the Philosopher's Note on Strength for Life. More wisdom in less time. Hi, this is Brian. Welcome to the Philosopher's Notes on Strength for Life, the new and faster way to shape your body, sharpen your mind, and energize your life by Sean Phillips. We'll kick this off with a quote from Sean. Quote, your body, the only one you will ever have, is the foundation of your life. And it's either an anchor limiting your freedom and potential or a source of radiant energy, vitality, and joy, elevating your life and the lives of those around you. It's your choice. Will yours be a source of strength from which you will impact the world or an obstacle preventing you from your dreams and desires? As my friend NFL Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway is fond of saying, if you're going to bother setting a goal, aim high. My advice to you, aim high. Aim for strength. End quote. Well, that pretty much sums up the theme of Sean's great book, Strength for Life. Aim high, aim for strength. Sean's a good friend of mine and hands down one of the strongest and most energetic guys I know. He's also an incredible blend of philosopher and spiritual bodybuilder, bringing meditation into the gym while enhancing, not compromising, the intensity of his training. This is definitely the most powerful book on transforming your strength, the true vitality and power with which you show up in the world that I've ever read. If you're tired of simply pushing weights around mindlessly, would like to bring mindfulness to your time at the gym, and are interested in transforming your life from the inside out to create more strength than ever before, Amazon the book right now and get it on. For now, let's take a quick peek at some of my favorite big ideas from the book. Everything from creating a base camp to get yourself ready for transformation, which, as we'll learn, is different than mere change, to working out your gratitude muscle. What fitness book have you read lately that talks about that? His hit and fit training principles are revolutionary, and if you follow his suggestions, it's literally impossible not to transform. So let's jump in. And of course, remember, aim high, aim for strength. The first big idea, transformation versus change. Quote, it's important to note here, there is a difference between change and transformation. Where change is change, I define transformation as significant and lasting change. It's change that doesn't snap back to the way it was before. All right, welcome to another major theme of Strength for Life. It's not about change. Anyone can change for a week or 12. The question is, have we transformed? Have we created significant change that will last? Strength for Life is all about creating the structures in your life to create true transformation. Follow Sean's wisdom and no doubt you will. And how about a new look at strength as we polish our vocabulary? From Sean, he says, Where health is no more than the absence of disease, strength is the presence of abundant energy, a capacity and reserve to be a force in your own world. It's inclusive of health and at the same time so much more. It's being healthy and flowing with energy, power, and confidence. End quote. You can go ahead and sign me up for that. (laughs) I love the sound of it. And another quote, strength is the something extra, the mental, physical, emotional reserve, the fuel that makes for an extraordinary life. Where health is like living paycheck to paycheck, strength is money in the bank, a reserve. Strength is true wealth. End quote. That's powerful stuff. All right, let's look at some alarming stats. Quote, the numbers are startling. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, About 30% of U.S. adults 20 and older are obese, and 65% are either overweight or obese. One out of five kids ages 12 to 19 is now considered obese. Yikes. And here's the best, or is it the worst part? 64% of obese people don't think they're obese. It's the other guy or gal, not me, Sean says. It's really hard to change, this is me now, when you don't honestly appraise your current reality. Wouldn't you agree? How about you? Where do you fit in the equation? Are you at your ideal weight? Do you feel vital and strong? Check in and be honest about that. And then notice the gap. Here's a quote. Whether you face reality head on and make a life change or deny your responsibility, you've made a choice. The way I see it, you either choose a life of abundant strength and energy or you're living in the gap, far beneath the quality of life you could be enjoying, end quote. 
Ah, the gap. What a harrowing place to be. So I like to draw these two lines. And if you're looking at the PDF, you'd see um, these lines drawn out in the actual PDF. But you can imagine in your mind as well. Draw one line horizontally across the top of a page and label that capable. And then draw a line, maybe an inch or two below that, horizontally, parallel to the capable line, but below it, that says actual. And there's a gap between those two lines of capable and actual. And in that gap is where regret, anxiety, and disillusionment hang out, right? So if there's a gap between what you're capable of doing and being and what you're actually doing and being, watch out. That's where regret, anxiety, disillusionment play. Close the gap and there's no room for that madness. Actually do what you're capable of doing. Enter bliss. Be your highest self. Live with full strength. All right. Next big idea is too old. The quote is, you're never too old to gain strength. The Knoll Laboratory for Human Performance compared young men with men between ages 45 and 60 and found that percentage of body fat, along with aerobic capacity, was not related to age, but rather to the amount of time spent training their body. And the Human Nutrition Center on Aging found muscle growth in people ranging from 60 to 96 years old was statistically equivalent to younger people doing the same amount of training with their bodies, end quote. So how about you? Do you think you're too old? Might want to rethink that. You have parents you think are too old to be into this? Might want to rethink that too. As Sean says, quote, as this research indicates, the symptoms of aging are less dependent on age and more related to lifestyle. Thus, a lifestyle that includes regularly engaging one's body with strength training can make you strong now and keep you going strong for life. End quote. All right, next big idea is focus. Focus is the concentration of attention to the exclusion of all else. It means putting everything you have into what you're doing at this very second, whether it's on work, training, nutrition, a friend, or loved one. When you're focused, you're not thinking about the past or future. Nothing else enters your mind. Ah, focus. You have the ability to concentrate all of your energy on the moment. Whether that means giving your full attention to your spouse or child or task at work or rep at the gym, nothing, dare I say, is more important than our ability to shift our focus at will. Not a bad deal when a fitness book teaches you how to train your mind while you train your body, eh? And that's why I said this book will transform you from the inside out. More from Sean. He says, perhaps more than any other factor, it is the mastery of your focus, which precedes mastery of your energy, that separates the average performers from the peak performers in life. The freedom to place your focused attention where you want it, when you want it, offers a competitive advantage in a world where the average attention span is measured in seconds, not minutes. It's precisely the skill that has so many high-profile leaders adopting meditation practices. Steve Jobs of Apple, music icons Rick Rubin and Russell Simmons, Oprah, Bill Ford of Ford Motor Company, and the Clintons are a few of the prominent names that belong to the rapidly growing population of Americans, currently reported to be more than 20 million, who have embraced the practice of meditation. Amen. And let's see how we apply this focus to our training with the next big idea, FIT. That's capital F, capital I, capital T, FIT. FIT blends an active meditation with strength training, strengthening your power to focus while strengthening your body, end quote. FIT, it's an acronym for Focused Intensity Training. Let's think about it. Who do you think will get better results? The guy or gal who spaces out during his workout, kind of aimlessly going through the motions in between water breaks and idle chat, or the individual who heads to the gym with a purpose and brings a deep level of focus through his intense workout? Right. Pretty simple to figure that one out. And just for the record, who do you think will get better results in the office? The guy or gal who spaces out during his workday, kind of aimlessly going through the motions in between coffee breaks and idle chat, or the individual who heads to the office with a purpose and brings a deep level of focus through his intense day. Right. Never forget, how you do anything is how you do everything. So how do you show up? All right, here's one of my favorite big ideas, exercise versus training. Quote, for a clear example of the difference between exercise and training, consider the fact that athletes don't go to exercise camp. They go to training camp. Why? 
because they are in training, focused on achieving specific results, which fuels an intense drive and motivation. I love that. The image of a world-class athlete going to an exercise camp cracks me up. You want to achieve specific results? You have an intense drive and motivation to achieve them? Then train, don't exercise. The good news is that not only is Sean a master technician, giving us the framework we need to systematically train, he's also a master motivator, giving us the tools and journal exercises we need to light a match under our desire to fuel the whole process. Again, very powerful stuff. Okay, the next big idea is training effects. So why should we train? Sean offers the seven wonders of strength that powerfully capture the why we should care about strength training in the first place. Among his points are the following big ideas. First is strength training, good for your mind and your mood. Quote, training stimulates endorphins, neurotransmitters, and neurotrophic growth factors your brain thrives on, making you feel good during and immediately following training. Scientists are now discovering long-term positive effects of regular strength training. It makes your neurons more robust while improving blood flow, oxygen, and nutrients to your brain. Again, you can sign me up for that. That's an end quote. I have to admit, this is probably the number one reason I train. I like to create. I know that if I'm going to bring my best to the world, I must optimize my body. That's a given. How about you? All right, here's a little more wisdom. Um, I quote, Michael Craig Miller, MD, editor-in-chief of the Harvard Mental Health Letter, summarizes what scientists have been uncovering for several decades. Regular training improves your mood, decreases anxiety, improves sleep and resilience in the face of stress, and raises self-esteem. He adds that exercise itself makes for a pretty good antidepressant too, equal to drugs or psychotherapy in some studies. That's amazing. Uh, I say we go ahead and, and embrace our strength training, knowing it's good for our mind and our moods. Also, the next big idea, muscles shape you smaller. Sean addresses the fact that many people are concerned, particularly but not exclusively women, that strength training will make them look big. He says, quote, here's the irony. Strength training actually makes you smaller. That's because a pound of muscle is much smaller and takes up less space than a pound of fat. A pound of fat is about the size of a cantaloupe. In contrast, a pound of lean muscle is about the size of a baseball. Using this analogy, imagine how amazing you would look and feel if you swapped 20 pounds of fat, think 20 cantaloupes, for 5 pounds of lean, shape-defining muscle, think 5 baseballs, end quote. So I don't personally have that fat to lose, but if I did, again, sign me up. I'd prefer 5 baseballs on my body than 20 cantaloupes. How about you? Good answer. All right, next big idea is base camp. Quote, appropriately named after the camp where the essential and final preparations are made by those seeking to scale the world's highest summit, that of Mount Everest, base camp is a period of preparation. It's a time to rest, recover, rejuvenate, and recharge your body and mind. It's not a time of more, but of less. It's a time to relax the systems, not overwhelm with new demands. End quote. I really like Sean's what I think to be revolutionary idea of a base camp. Right when you get giddy about transforming your life, what do you do? You turn everything around in a day, go hit the gym Rocky style, and then what? You wake up sore and tired and wondering what bus hit you. Or worse, you get injured. Or more subtly, that little part of your mind is sitting back, just kind of looking at you saying, oh my God, what is he doing now? This isn't going to last. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all about radical, immediate transformation, and I love the William James comment. He says, to change your life, start immediately, do it flamboyantly, no exceptions. But there are times when we need to pause and look at the long view, and while making an absolute commitment to the new ideal, we need to ease our way into the change to ensure long-term sustainability. Sean gets that, and in his book, he shows us how to set up our base camp to optimize our 12 weeks of hitting it. I like it a lot. His five rules for his 12 days of base camp. One, eat lean, clean, and green. Two, drink water in abundance each day. Three, enjoy a minimum of seven hours of restful sleep each night. Four, flex your muscle of gratitude and positive focus each day. Five, regroup with the base camp training plan. End quote. Simple, powerful stuff. 
All right, here are a couple more did you knows. Did you know this about water? Quote, drink at least 10 8-ounce glasses of water daily to stay properly hydrated. For an athlete, a 1% drop in hydration can reduce performance output by as much as 20%. For the average person, dehydration increases the accumulation of toxins in the body, stunts metabolism, increases risks of cancer, and accelerates the aging process. In a dehydrated state, the mind and body do not operate at optimal levels, end quote. And how about this on sleep? Sean says, quote, In one study published in the Journal of Sleep, individuals who slept for only four hours produced cortisol levels on average 37% higher than those who got a full eight hours of sleep, end quote. All right, and the next big idea is blueprint for brilliance. Sean says, quote, Together, an inspiring vision and clear goals serve as a blueprint for your lasting success. Your choice to live a strong life, however you define it. It's the life you're most drawn into, a brilliant future that pulls you forward each day with great force, end quote. Another amen. What is your compelling vision for your future? Where will you be a year from today? Sean has some very cool ideas that will help you get clarity and create the goals that will propel you into your greatest future. He even brings in some Newtonian physics to prove his point. (laughs) I love that. All right, I'm going to leave this to the book for all the details, but get it and rock it. And know this, the clarity of your vision and the force with which it propels you to your goals is one of the most important factors in your life. And I know you already know that, but a friendly reminder now and again can't hurt, huh? All right, moving into the uh, final phase here, habits versus rituals. We all know the truth in Aristotle's wisdom that we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. But I gotta agree with Sean here, and I love the distinction he makes between habits and their more refined and regal cousin, rituals. He says, quote, People tend to talk in terms of good habits and bad habits, but I prefer to think in terms of rituals and habits. Think about it. Whenever you hear someone say, She has a habit of... dot dot dot, The thing that comes next is rarely positive. The difference between rituals and habits is that you choose to do rituals. You have some degree of awareness and intention. People tend to admire your rituals, end quote. That's hot. So how do you bring your greatest vision to life? How do you achieve the goals that propel you toward that vision? Simple, rituals. So what rituals do you have in your life? What rituals do you need to create in your life? You know, the stuff that you know you should be doing if you have any hope of being who you know you should be right? Write those down and start integrating them into your life. Now we're moving into 12 weeks of mojo. Quote, your body is an amazingly adaptive machine. Ask it to be stronger and stronger you will be. Challenge it to go further and further you will go. Coax it to be more limber and more limber it will be. Allow it to mold into the seat of a recliner and you got it, a recliner seat it will become. Stretch it, push it, pull it. Your body is like cellular Play-Doh waiting for you to be the sculptor. End quote. I love that. How have you been sculpting your body? Sean's program is all about catalyzing your vision and goals into a guided 12 weeks of transformation. It's impossible to go into all the detail of his strength, nutrition, and psychological training plan here. In fact, all of the big ideas we've looked at so far are from the first 90 pages of his 250-plus page book. If you've been inspired by Sean's wisdom thus far, the next step is simple. Get the book and transform your life, your entire life, from your mind to your muscle, from the inside out. And we'll wrap up with one more big idea. How strong are you? Quote, how strong are you? How will you lift the world? How will you be a beacon of strength for others? These are the questions of utmost importance. Every one of us has a time limit to fulfill our destiny. Don't be one who waits for the final buzzer to start to really live. Yesterday is a memory, and tomorrow is a dream. Today is the day to make your mark, to make a difference, end quote. All right, well, that wraps up this um, philosopher's note, and I encourage you to live with full strength and energy for life. And let's take a quick look at Sean Phillips, the author, and some of the other notes I think you'll enjoy, and then we'll look at some of the quotes on the sidebar. 
All right, so Sean, a Colorado native, Sean Phillips is an author, business leader, and renowned expert in the area of personal performance. For the past two decades, he has helped hundreds of thousands of people, including business leaders, professional athletes, and numerous celebrities look great, feel great, and unleash their full strength. He built EAS, a supplement business, created focused intensity training, and has been a leading figure in the fitness industry for decades. You can learn more about Sean at sean-phillips.com. That's Sean, spelled S-H-A-W-N, dash Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S dot com. And if you liked this note, you'll probably like my notes on Tony Robbins, Ken Wilber, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Mastery, and The Thrive Diet. All right, now let's look at some of the quotes on the left menu bar of the PDF. Sean says, Bruce Lee said it well in these words, Knowing is not enough, you must apply. Willing is not enough. You must do. You can count on me to reach in and help fire you up, to keep you moving and inspired for greatness. But ultimately, it's up to you. And, quote, recently we crossed a tipping point where, for the first time in recorded history, the youngest generation of children are now expected to live shorter lives than their parents, even though medical technology continues to advance and we know far more about the impact of poor diet and inactivity than ever before. Most people are settling for less than their potential, for less strength, energy, and vitality than they both can have and deserve. To accept life anywhere below our fullest potential is to be living in the gap, blindly accepting what is without ever deeply considering what could be. Here's another quote from Sean. The evidence is strong and science validates what millions of transformation success stories have revealed. Typical signs of aging are more the result of how you live than how long you've lived. And here's a quote from Alexander Graham Bell. He says, Concentrate all your thoughts on the task at hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. Back to Sean. He says, Fit is at the heart of the training you will do in the Strength for Life program. Its aim is to develop not simply your physical strength, but integral strength. The strength of body, mind, emotions, and more. Think of this new style as strength training from the inside out. Integral strength training. And Sean also says, Your ability to focus through strength training is a metaphor for the rest of your life. If you can't focus in the gym, your results will be modest, not insignificant, but only a fraction of what you could achieve. The same is true in life. Through FIT, you can learn this focus in your training, and that will translate into all aspects of your life. And he also says, you cannot successfully challenge your body until it's in a positive environment first, and that's the goal with base camp. A quote from Thomas Jefferson, who says, a strong body makes the mind strong. And JFK, who says, if we are strong, our strength will speak for itself. If we are weak, words will be of no help. And back to Sean, who says, as you'll come to know, the closer you get to your goal, the more it draws you in. Success feeds on success. It's like a gravitational pull. Once you get into a rhythm, it's hard to stop. You achieve big visions by doing the little things every day and looking at them in a positive focus. And finally, a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. Do the thing you cannot do. I love it. That's the final quote, and that wraps up this philosopher's note officially. I offer you my support in living with full strength and strength for life. Have an awesome day, and thanks for listening, and look forward to sharing more. We hope you enjoyed this Philosopher's Note. Please go to www.philosophersnotes.com to download more.